right? Like those guys getting. That is. This is the first time I've ever been heckled by a heron. <laughs> Without further ado, let me introduce you to Michael Connell. Big round of applause now. I'm here at my good friend Glenn Toza's house. Look at this setup. Give a big round of applause for Glenn for, for putting this together. A nice spotlight over here. Doing my lights, being my roadie, and I like that. Awesome. What are these? Speakers and some fold back. I'm not going to need the fold back, but that's fine. We've got a musician later on in the show. He's going to need the fold back. I won't. <laughs> This is going to be our stage. I'm going to stand over here. We'll turn the light on, spotlight me, and then we'll have people sitting, you know, in this sort of area. If you, if you wanted to be sad, like for a start, you would be out here watching stand-up comedy. You'd be out watching stand-up tragedy. Some of you are like, I am watching stand-up tragedy. Hey! And probably out on the lawn as well. I think it's going to be all right. Yeah, I'm all right. <laughs> Look how easy it is to put on a comedy show featuring me at your house. We can do this at your place. Yeah. <laughs> Back in the day, patrons of the arts were everyone. Yeah? You know, we had a court jester. Oh, dance for it! Dance for it! <laughs> I am the cleaner. <laughs> you do your best, you give everything you've got, and then you end up performing on a porch. <laughs> We engaged with storytelling through music and comedy and, uh, you know, nights like now over a meal. You know, it happened all the time. And I, we stopped doing it. We built these big fences between yeah. the houses. We commercialise entertainment. Yeah. Like always, you go out yeah, for. Yeah, it's something you go out for. And now I think... Now you can you know, bring friends and family together and have a very intimate... Absolutely. ...unique yeah, event we... in your own house. Yeah, that's right! Man, how old are you? And if you've done a philosophy degree too, this is freaking me out. It is true. It is your thinking. That's right. That's what you control. Well done. Gold star to that girl. Right? What did you think of the show? Hey, it was great fun. You're a funny guy. Ah, oh, thank you very much. And you're a thought-provoking comedian. Oh, thank you. Oh, it's really intelligent comedy. Oh, good. And I was like, right. I am the walrus. <laughs> It wasn't what we're doing. Sweet. I'm glad I got you laughing and got the brain cells working yeah, at the same good. time. Great open fire, nice, eclectic uh, choice of like comedy, music, and lots of different people coming around. It's great. It was like Woodstock outside Going my bedroom crazy. door. Like. <laughs> one, one person's excited. <laughs> From listening to you on the radio, what did you think? I thought you were dark haired. I don't know why. <laughs> All right. I don't know. Right. I also expect you to be quite a bigger build. Like I sound <laughs> fat, is what you all say. say. I sound I, fat. I, I now I'm on air, I'm going to be mentioned. Where's the custard on the you know, <laughs> My favourite comedian and my favourite musician on the Gold Coast. <laughs> and, um, yeah, it was a good night. Awesome. Well, thanks so much for having me. Champion, man. You know Piggy in the middle? Yes. Yes, yes. The kids are like, yes, I'm going through it right now. <laughs> Would you come to another house party? Absolutely. Do you think people should do more house parties? Oh, look, they really need to experience what we've, what's happened yes. here. And they would absolutely love to do it. And what would you say for them? Yeah. Do it. Bam. Yeah, yeah, yeah. From Gemma herself. <laughs> Gemma's seal of approval. Well, what did I win? The ability to handle disappointment. <laughs> Everyone should have house parties like this. Right. Why did you like the house party so much? <laughs> was, so basically convenience <laughs> is what Gemma likes. It's just like, well, oh, I just got up and performance <laughs> was on. I got out of bed and was like, who's this guy? You're funny. Hey. Hey. I think it's a great idea. More should happen. And it's it's uh, very cosy and very casual and everybody brings a potluck dinner and, and uh, there's plenty of food and drink and great conversation. And the talent is fantastic. I want to point out that that joke was hilarious. You gave it a so-so response. That's fine. There's things I don't control. <laughs> I only paid a, a little bit to say that. So, <laughs> when the show at your house? When That's are you inviting me around? It's funny you should say that. We're going to be doing February. Really? <laughs> yes. Oh, wow. Well. Which is a long time away. All right. Yeah, I'll see if I can book myself in. <laughs> That's about it for me, guys. You've been a lot of fun. I'll...